Hey guys, sorry, I just um, edited this video and I realized that I don't like have an intro at all. So I just am gonna film one right now, kind of. It kind of just jumps right into it, but I just wanted to say welcome to my channel if you're watching this and um, if you like the video, just go ahead and subscribe down below. My name is Ashton. I just recently started this channel. And I'm not really sure what I'm doing with it, but this is just like a story time of what I did this past weekend. Um, I just went down to Southern Utah and we were just hiking around. So basically that's all that I'm going to put in for right now. And then we'll just jump right into the video. So yeah, if you watch to the end um, and you liked it, go ahead and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like to see. And peace. Bye just got back from a trip okay and we're on a little two-day trip to southern utah it's called goblin valley and it was pretty good it was pretty fun but like i was filming i was vibing i realized that i was filming the wrong way and so i can't use like half of that footage so i'm just gonna talk y'all through it and then i'll insert clips that actually worked because most of them don't. First, we went on Saturday morning. It's now Monday morning. I just got done mowing the lawn, so I'm a little tan. I'm also tan because I was hiking. That we drove down there, and we set up our little camp, which me and my sister are stupid because we put our tent just like anywhere. We were just like, we'll just put it here. We'll get to that later. And then we went down to Goblin Valley. There's probably a video of that that I'll insert somewhere in here. Your cheeks are already so red. Yes, yes. What are you doing? And then we went on a little hike. You're in my vulva garden. <laughs> We were just like walking around. If you know what Goblin Valley is, it's just like these big old rocks that are just like. So we went on a hike that we had never been on while we were there. It was a pretty long hike, I'm not gonna lie. But we get there and it's like this little cave. So it's like, you're like, I can't see anything. Then you go up to the top and you look down and there's just like a cave. It's like a Minecraft cave. And it's so sketchy, like it's so sketchy. It's literally like that. And so we have to like rock climb down there, which is not my forte. You know, I run, but I don't do that. I don't have any arm strength really. So I was like trying to hold myself up, like pull myself up on these rocks and my family's like, we get down there and you can like go in like this little crevice in the cave. I think I got like a little bit of video from that, but I'm pretty sure it's the film's the wrong way too. I might put a little bit in. Yeah. Oh my heavens, yeah. hello, please. But yeah, you can like go down, but then at some point you have to like start crawling, like army crawling like this. So I was like, nope, I'm not doing that because I don't want to get dirty, even though I'm, I'm camping. And then we're about to like go back to our car, right? And my dad's like, no, like let's go another way to our car, let's go through this other canyon that goes to the car. But we didn't actually know if it went to the car or not. So we were like, we're kind of tired. Like, let's just go back where we know. And he's like, no. And we're like, okay, great. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that sounds, yeah, solid. That sounds like what we should go do. And this is like another two miles to the car. And you have to like hike up, like it's literally like that. And it's not a trail, like it, you're just walking in like these little slot canyons that are like this wide. Make it back to the car finally. We get back to camp and we start making a little fire. We're having some dinner. I could teach him some I used to know that. It's pretty good, you know, we're all vibing, having a grand old time. But we just like talk around the fire for a really long time. And there's this family like, across the way they have like a bunch of little kids and they have this little dog and they just left the dog in their camper alone and they just like left and i'm like 
okay, well, like, why would you bring it if you're not gonna take it with you, you know? And this dog is, like, losing its mind. It's like, are you kidding me? Like, you just left me here? And I'm thinking the same thing. Why would you just leave your dog? And it starts, like, crying its little eyes out. And my dad's like, there's coyotes. My sister-in-law's like, that sounds like a coyote. And I'm like, that is the dog, like, across the way. Finally, they come back. And while we're having dinner, we're like, where's this sweet music coming from right now? It was the people across the way from us. This lady busts out her ukulele. She starts freaking jamming to Lady Gaga. Our girl. Like, and it was so late. And there was families, like, all around us. And we were like, and they had, like, babies. Like, they had, like, infants with them. I was like, why are your kids not asleep? Finally, they shut up. And so we're like, okay, well, let's go to bed. This is where the story gets interesting i lay down and i'm like oh there's a rock under like multiple rocks underneath me my, my pad was like this thin that i was sleeping on and then i can't sleep inside of sleeping bags because it like makes me like <clears throat> my sister's like this is so uncomfortable like i'm not gonna be able to sleep and i'm like me either and then like five seconds later i'm i just feel like <clears throat> i look over she's snoring she's like just dead asleep I'm just like i'm never gonna sleep Eventually, after like 30 minutes, I fall asleep. I wake up. She's straight up cuddling me in my sleep. Get off me. I like elbow her and she doesn't wake up. So I'm like smacking her. I'm like, get off of me. Finally, she rolls over, but she starts sleep talking. And she's always done that. Like she always makes weird noises in her sleep and she always talks in her sleep. So I was like, that's not new, but like, do you have to do it right now? You know? to keep all that going there's an animal like outside like i know there's like an animal right next to my head like that is not funny and my f whole family is a bunch of snorers so they're all snoring like synchronized and this animal is like breathing in my ear and i'm like i'm not gonna sleep so eventually i get to bed wake up a couple more times because my sister is so loud talking in my ear and I'm like, shut up. Like, are you kidding? And so I start shaking her. She doesn't wake up. Finally, I don't know if she woke up or if she was just like, her brain just knew. Eventually it gets like 5 a.m. And I'm like, I have to pee. But we're in the middle of nowhere because when you're there, like you can stay in the campsite, but it was all full. We just had to stay in like the, I don't know what it means, but it's BLM land. You can just like camp anywhere. I'm like, there's not a bathroom anywhere near me. I just go to the bathroom in the middle of the camp. No one's awake, so I'm like, that's fine. I had to go by myself, too. It was kind of scary. It was, like, dark. So finally, I am done with that. Get to bed. Well, I sit there for three more hours. Didn't sleep at all. And I wait for everybody to wake up. So we woke up, and my dad is the only one awake. And he's making breakfast. And it's like, you just put water in it, and it, like, cooks it or whatever. It's, like, for astronauts. Yeah, he, that's all he brought. So guess what I ate for breakfast? Chicken noodle soup in a bag. So I'm sitting in the car, just like trying to nap in the car. Like it's kind of warm in there and I brought my blankets in there so I can be away from people. And then my dad just comes and starts talking to me and he's like, you want some more chicken noodle soup? And I'm like, no, like I want to go to bed. Then everybody wakes up and they're like, okay, let's go. We're going on a hike and right now. Like I'm not ready for that right now, you know? And I've done this hike multiple times, right? And it doesn't like have a destination. You just like walk through slot canyons and then you turn around when you get tired. Yeah. That was cool. <laughs> you even drink it? <sighs> well, we get to around like two and a half, three miles, and I'm like fine. I hike with my family a lot like we're a hiking family we love being outdoors and stuff like we go do this stuff a lot but i didn't sleep at all can we go back and my family's like no like we're gonna finish this hike and i'm like what do you mean finish what like there's nowhere to go and they're like well eventually it loops around into another canyon and you come out the other side but it's like 13 miles that's a freaking funny joke i'm not doing that i run out of water and i'm like why are we still going? Like, we have four miles to go back, right? And I'm out of water. And so is my mom. Let's keep going. And I'm like, no. Like, we gotta turn around. Like, I forgot to fill my water up before we get, before we went. 
So I guess it's my fault that I ran out of water, but still, I was out of water. So we're going back. You have to like go down these sandstone like boulders, right? And it's pretty steep. And the slot cannons like go like this, so your feet are like on the side like this. So my feet are like slanted a lot. They're like moving around in my shoes. And we're like ha almost halfway down. And my shoe breaks. I have Under Armour running shoes, right? They're really nice. I love them. They're the only shoes that I wear to go running and I run every day. I don't know why I thought to, br thought to bring these. I was like... What other shoes I'm gonna wear? My my feet are gonna hurt if I wear anything else. The way the laces are held up, it's like these little triangle things that are like little pieces of string that they go through. The little string broke, so my shoelaces didn't have anything to attach to to tighten it. So my foot was just like loosely hanging in my shoe, and I just started crying. <laughs> and my family was like, "Why are you crying?" And I was like, "I want to be." Home. Like I'm so tired. I'm disgusting. My shoe just broke and I just want to go home. I just start cruising down this mountain. I'm like, you know what? This isn't fun anymore. <laughs> and so me and my dad start like running down this hill. We open up our water jug that we filled up before we went and it's like green. And we're like, huh? Like why is it green? When we got the water, the people at the like gate for Goblin Valley were like, yeah, we're running low on water. Yeah, so it's like the bottom of the tank, it's like got sand in it and dirt. And I'm like, I don't even care, I'm so thirsty. My dad's like, let's go on another one. And I was like, no, like I wanna go home. And so it was like two o'clock and I was like, I am so ready to just like go home. And we're like three hours away from where I live. I live up in nor Northern Utah and this place is down in Southern Utah. It's like kind of by, Moab if you know where that is or kind of by St. George but not really eventually I convinced them to just go home in the morning when we were leaving I was like let's pick up all of our crap so we can just drive home straight from the hike like we don't have to go back to camp take it all down and then leave camp because our camp was kind of far off the road and it's like the world is like crazy not something that you want to drive on for a long time and it's a solid like five to ten minute drive to get to the campsite so we have to go back to the camp because nobody agreed with me to just take it down and put it in the car when we went hiking. And it's so windy. If you've ever tried to take down a tent in the wind, I almost lost my mind. And my sister's like trying to help me and I literally wanted to punch her in the face. My dad is like, just wrap it up and we'll put it away later tonight. Yeah, we just drove home. I slept most of the way because I was so tired. We got home and I took a shower and then I went to bed and I forgot to charge my phone last night because I left my charger in my car. I just got a notification saying that my phone is at 10%. That's the craziest thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, my phone was just like, you have 10% left. So that's weird because I just said that I didn't charge my phone last night. That's basically what happened. So yeah, and then I mowed the lawn today, so I'm pretty tired pretty beat but yeah so i think that's about it that's just the story of what i did this weekend i don't know this is kind of different than the last video i put up the last video don't even watch it it's my first video that i ever posted and like it's bad so just don't watch it like yeah this is a lot different it's kind of like a story time so let me know down below if maybe you want to see more videos like this i could also do like more vlog style or just like comment down below what you want to see and I will try and do it. So yeah, I think that's about it. But if you want to, you can subscribe to my channel um, and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified when my videos are posted. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See you guys later.